So Nintendo just announced the NES Mini. Uh, I have some thoughts about it, and let's talk about it. So basically, the NES Mini is a plug-and-play system by Nintendo, officially licensed by Nintendo. Uh, and it's the first of its kind from Nintendo. Uh, I keep saying Nintendo a lot. And it goes for $60 coming out November 11th. It has, it comes with the NES Classic Edition system, one NES Classic controller, and I, I'll talk about that in a second, an HDMI cable. You basically get a free HDMI cable, and it hooks up via HDMI, which I think is pretty cool. Uh, some people may not. AC adapter, okay, and 30 pre-installed games. Now the, now the good thing and the bad thing about the NES Classic controller, good thing. It has the, the uh, Wii and Wii U and possibly NX hookup, which is really good. And because you can play your uh, classic games that you've downloaded from the Wii U, from the Wii, with this controller. And that's pretty cool. And it looks exactly like the original NES controller. It probably plays exactly like the original NES controller. I mean, how could they mess this up? Bad thing, it's not the NES input. So you can't play this with the original NES, which is a shame, but there's probably a way to get around that. They're also selling this for 10 bucks. You can buy a separate controller for the NES Classic Edition for 10 bucks, which is really, really cool because this allows people uh, to just buy them regularly. It's not, it's not just stayed with the system. You can, it's not, they're not pulling a Wii U here. They're not giving you a controller that you can't buy anywhere else. Um, and I really hated when they did that with the Wii U. And I think they've learned their lesson. And I thank God they learned their lesson. So you can buy a standalone controller to play on your Wii U. Or you can buy the NES Classic Edition. Or you can buy as many controllers as you want. It's good. Now let's read off the games, and then I'll give you what I like and what I don't like about the console. Uh, games. Uh, I'm gonna tell you if they're good, bad, or if I haven't played them. Super Mario Brothers, great game. Super Mario Brothers 3, probably the best Mario game ever in my opinion. Legend of Zelda, classic, great game. Donkey Kong, great game, great arcade game, and it's also great on the NES. Metroid, classic. Kirby's Adventure, pretty good. Super Mario Bros. 2 is okay. It's n I'm not really a big fan of it. I think it's okay. Uh, I know it's just Doki Doki Panic. We wanted to reskin, but whatever. It's okay. Dr. Mario is fun. Punch Out featuring Mr. Dream, not Mike Tyson. Because of legal issues is great. Balloon Fight is fun. Donkey Kong Jr. I like Donkey Kong better, but Donkey Kong Jr. is okay. Zelda 2 The Adventure Link is not as good as the first, and is probably the weakest game in the series, but it's okay. Excite Bike is fun. Uh, Ice Climber is okay. Uh, it's fun. Kid Icarus I've never played. Sorry, I can't give an opinion on it, but it's probably fun. Mario Bros. is classic. The original game from the arcade. It's great. Star Tropics I've never played, so I can't give an opinion on it. Bubble Bobble is fun. Castlevania is great. Castlevania 2, not, a, not as good as Castlevania in my opinion, but still great. Double Dragon 2 is fun. Final Fantasy is fun. Galaga is great. Ghosts and Goblins is hard, but fun. Gradius I've never played, so I can't give an opinion on it. Mega Man 2, one of my favorite games of all time, but hard. Ninja Gaiden, hard. Pac-Man, I'm not even going to say anything about Pac-Man. You know what, you know, you have your opinion on Pac-Man. And it's probably the same opinion as everyone else. Super C, great. Tecmo Ball is a great for a football game. And that's it. It's those are the 30 games. I, I think it was was it 30? Uh let's see. So 4, 8, 12, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 22. Yep, 30. Uh those were the 30 games. Uh there's probably some in there that you may not like, but you get 30 original games uh, for sixty dollars. Um, now you can download emulators, obviously, but this is authentic Nintendo. Nintendo's not done this at all. Nintendo has Nintendo is now joining the market of plug and play systems. Sega has been doing this way back. Atari has the Atari Flashback. ColecoVision even has a system that I see everywhere. 
Uh, but this is first. This is a first from Nintendo, I think. And it's really cool. The box is a throwback to the original NES. The NES uh, Classic Edition is... It fits in the palm of your hand. From the picture I see, it looks like the authentic NES. The controller looks authentic. It's great. It looks great. It looks fun. I'm glad they got a lot of licensing uh, from Capcom and, uh, and Konami. So, that's really good. It's not just Nintendo. It's not just original Nintendo games, like, from Nintendo. So that's really cool. What I don't like about the system, and I, I, there's an explanation for this, is that it doesn't play original cartridges. And I know there's an explanation they don't want to take away from the original, uh, the, the games on the Wii Shop, but I would have rather had a bigger system that played NES games. And that's just my personal opinion. Because it's, it wouldn't really hurt your market, because there's still people who wouldn't, who don't, who, because from where I'm at in the world, there's not a lot of video game places. There's one, and I don't, I can't, I'm not, I don't have access to go there, because uh, it's far away, but this is a perfect, I'm getting this, it's $60, I, I, I download emulators. But, uh, since this is authentic Nintendo, I think I need to get this. And, uh, that's what I don't like about it. I don't like that it doesn't play cartridges. But, that being said, they could do something in the future. This opens doors to an SNES emulator, and even an N64 emulator, and possibly in the next 15 years, a GameCube emulator. And then maybe a Wii emulator, and then... Obviously, we'll go. Nintendo will release consoles slowly at a time. I say in the next five years, you'll see an NES Classic Edition, which will be fun. Uh, and the games seem okay. The games seem seem like the classic games, uh, the games that people can remember, people have played, people have uh, a feeling towards. So that's good. Uh, and this also opened doors to someone, I saw someone, I think on, I saw someone from a video, and they might have posted this on Reddit, I don't know. They took a Raspberry Pi, and they made, they downloaded the emulators, uh, and made their own mini NES, and their own mini cartridges. So that opened doors to that project being made. And if Nintendo snatched that up, and released that in a limited edition, that would be really cool. But I don't think they're going to do that. Uh, I, I think this is a good idea. I think it's a great idea. I think if they were, if this gets successful, they can do something in the future where they should release. They, I have, a, I have a crazy theory. They could release. You know the Famicom disc system. You probably don't, but if you do, if you do not, go to the gaming story. There's a full video he made. It's great. Uh, he he makes great videos. Also subscribe to him. And uh, it was basically a disc system for the Famicom, which is basically the Japanese NES, and you could, it, it came on these little uh, floppy disks, you could go to, you could go to stores, and it could rewrite the games to a different game. What if Nintendo did that today? For the NX, what if they did something like that? Because rumor has it, the NX is going to be cartridge based, which, looking at the, the uh, rumors and the uh, blueprints, it seems like that's gonna be the case. Now, my opinion on that, um, I'll get into that in a different video. The Cliff Notes version of it is, I think that's a good idea. But basically, this is... The, Nintendo has opened so many doors by doing this. This is a, a surprising move. I did not see coming. Nobody saw coming. And... By doing this, they've kind of, uh, they've kind of opened the market. And that's a really good thing, and that's all really I have to say. I'm Patrick James Nable, signing off only on Journey Studios Network Gaming. What to do?